There's still growing calls tonight for answers following the chaos at the Copa America final at Hard Rock Stadium. Those calls are coming from county officials and fans who were denied entry. Nico Clemens is outside Hard Rock with more from the attorneys representing one woman who was not able to get inside. We know there were so many people who spent thousands of dollars on tickets but couldn't even enjoy Sunday's event. Well, the attorneys we spoke with say it's really not about the money for their clients. It's the outcome. And now they're taking action. Miss Martinez was devastated. She was one of thousands of people looking forward to their once in a lifetime experience. This is something that they were looking forward to for years. But her dream turned into a nightmare Sunday. It's pure negligence. Jackie Martinez says she spent more than $4,000 on tickets so she, her husband, and her parents could watch the Copa America final Sunday in Miami Gardens. But like so many people, they never made it inside. Thousands of people without tickets rushed the gates and even climbed through air conditioning vents to get into the stadium. Police arrested more than two dozen people. Now Martinez is suing Hard Rock Stadium and event organizer Conmebol for $50,000. The lawsuit filed Monday reads, the unlawful entry of individuals into the arena was a foreseeable consequence of defendant's failure to implement adequate crowd control measures, security protocols, and ticket verification processes. Erwin Ast represents Martinez and her family. This was a sacrifice. This was like their vacation. We reached out to Cone Mabal and Hard Rock Stadium for comment on the lawsuit and by Tuesday night had not heard back. However, on Monday, Hard Rock Stadium posted on X they will work in partnership with Cone Mabal to address individual concerns. Ticketmaster policy states only event organizers can determine whether they'll allow refunds. And you can't sell people tickets and deny them entry. So StubHub also sent a statement regarding ticket refunds. A uh, spokeswoman said for unique situations like this, they tend to follow the approach of the event producers and primary ticket providers, but they are still waiting for information from them. Nico Clemens, NBC6 News.